this is step stop three on the river tour, and I'm just one or two hundred meters upstream of the water plant where we had our stop two. And you can think of what you're looking at here as the gateway to the forest. Now we're right at the foot of the uh, first row of foothills that define the Northern Range Mountains. And so all of a sudden the river now is flowing through a much steeper ravine and we have much more in the way of a forest coming down to the banks of the river. As I said before, above this point, there isn't nearly as much human activity. The population is quite sparse. There are a few houses here and there where people are earning a living doing small-scale agriculture. There also are some quarries upstream from here, but otherwise we're entering much less disturbed habitat. But nevertheless, this is high predation habitat. And the thing that you should notice about this is that it's a bigger river, it's wider, it's flatter, and it consists of pretty much of a straight channel. And this is very good habitat for the larger predators of guppies. You'll see that it gets quite different when we go further upstream. When the gradient steepens, then the river breaks up into discrete pools and riffles. And there are often little waterfalls or cataracts that separate the pools. Uh, but that, that is not the case down here. And as I said, this is typical high predation locality. This is relatively late in the day, so you can't see it. But another property of the river being wider is that it tends to have a much higher light level throughout the day because the, the river is wider, the trees on the bank of the river are set wider, more widely apart, and there's much more in the way of gaps in the canopy to let sunlight down to the level of the river. One of the consequences is that these habitats tend to have much higher productivity than do the habitats further upstream. For example, when we mark guppies and release them and recapture them in this type of habitat, what we find is that individual guppies are growing much faster than would-be guppies in the headwater streams that you'll be visiting later on in this tour.